Okay, so the updates have been slow, but everybody wants a sneak peek of this new color. And you know what? I feel pretty generous. Let's make it happen. So here you guys go. Here's a sneak peek of the new color for the car this year. So after getting 20 to 30 messages, you know, per day from people on all of my different social media platforms wanting, hey, what's uh, the new color going to be? What's this? This isn't that. I spend a lot of my time just replying to that now saying, oh, it's a secret, it's a secret, blah, blah, blah. But now, just here on YouTube first, I'm going to go ahead and release the new color and give you guys a sneak peek of what the car is going to look like when it's finished. All right. So first up, I went with a company called uh, Vivid, Vivid Vinyl. And I got um, some of their forged black carbon fiber, which I didn't know if I'd like the stuff at first, but I did the hood and the trunk and the rear spoiler in it. And to be honest with you, it looks, it looks sweet. It's awesome. And uh, I love that stuff. Like it's, it's actually pretty cool. I thought it'd be too much, but it, it's just right. And here's how that stuff looks. It seems uh, pretty dramatic, but the stuff's actually really cool, um, especially in, in certain lightings. I know gas station lightings are going to be pretty intense on it, but we didn't really come here for that. We came for the base main color of the car, and this is going to go back to my old school days. I had a nickname back then, and this may help you pick the color out. My nickname was Booger, and it stuck with me forever. It's it's basically ingrained. A lot of people don't even know my real name. They call me Booger. And even my social media on my Instagram is B-O-O-O-G-3-R. Just because everyone's known me as Booger. I've just adapted it. And no, it's not from Porky's, the old dude picking his nose and this and that. No, it's not from that. It's just something funny. I had a lime green body drop pickup truck a long time ago and just something that stuck. So why not just go ahead and go back to the roots? Now remember... It's still cold here in Ohio. It's like 30 degrees today. I can't exactly wrap out here, but we had, did have a nice few days in there. I got some body work done on these fenders uh, and other panels. So you can see here, I did a lot of body work and wet sanding and everything just to prep and make sure the surface is perfect for the new wrap. And anyways, let's see why we're doing all this. We're doing a complete color change on this thing. I'm going to do door jams. I'm going to do the whole deal. So I've only got one panel done. I got the fender done in the new color just to see how the material reacted. And I love it. Okay. It's going to be fantastic. I'm still trying to source more of it just so I have spare, but it's hard to get some right now. And this material is from a company uh, named Hexus. And the color is called Matte Wasabi Green. I went with a matte color this time because I really wanted something that stood out. So it, it definitely gets the job done. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait till it's done. And my son even made me a full rendering on one of his video games of what the car should look like when it's completed. Now, sadly, that's the only thing I have wrapped in the green, but I am doing the body work and removing the uh, KPMF wrap that's on there that's been on there for two years and also doing body work. So taking my time, making sure everything is perfect, it's dead on. Um, on top of that, this stuff 
here recently is pretty hard to source. So I got to be sparingly with it. I got to make sure that when I wrap it, it's wrapped, it's done right the first time because I don't really have much scrap to play with if I mess up. So now you have it. That's the new color. And once the weather starts to clear up, I get a little bit warmer weather I can work with. I can get out here. Plus, you guys can see I don't exactly have a lot of room in this one car garage. So I need to get it to where I can get out of the garage. Got to cut a couple of pieces of steel out, weld in some new metal where I got a little bit of rust starting up. So I want to make sure it's all done, done right. And it's going to take time. But just to keep people, you know, from being on that cliffhanger, here's the new color. Hope you guys like it. Now, the one thing you really can't notice in the material or in the uh, video too well is it's pearlescent and it has some crazy body line pops in it. So really can't wait to see that in the sunlight as well. I know in the shade and in the shadows here on the garage, it looks awesome. I wish the, the video does not do it justice. Even seeing like right here, it's got like a yellow hue to the pearl. But if you look up this way, it's almost like a grass green. And then even at some points get to a fluorescent green. So this stuff, when it's out, it's going to pop. You can even see a darker green right in here, just on that body line. It's just the hues it has in it, just for having a simple base pearl and being a matte color, are pretty slick. I even added some of it into here, into the scoops. And you can see here, super, like, dark green, yellow pearl, yellow. It's, it's pretty insane. So now... Looks like I'm going to have to go through and make a new intro video when this thing's done, which I have no problem doing. I have fun doing them anyway. All right, guys, and that's it for me today. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep track, man, because there's going to be a lot more updates on this thing. And here's actually the picture, the uh, rendering that my son did on his video game. And I can't wait till it's done. We're going to take these wheels. We're going to change them up. I got spacers for the rear. I've got the coil over set where I'm going to slam it. I mean, it's. I think it's going to look pretty slick. Anyways, here, check that out. And don't worry, I know in that picture it shows Cobra badges. Trust me, we're not doing none of that crap. We're keeping the GT badges. We're not gonna do this Fobra stuff, okay guys? Sorry, not into it. I don't up badge nothing. If anything, it would get debadged before it would get up badged. So anyways, like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more here coming in the future, guys. See ya.